Guys, this week's plant of the week is one that's kind of special because I've used this quite a few times in landscapes over the years. This one here this week is the Grace Ward Lithodora. It is a fantastic rock garden, hillside, uh, very tolerant of a lot of landscape uses. Creepy, crawly, ground cover, spillers up and over rocks. Yeah, Grace Ward Lithodora. You can see its main claim to fame. It is staring you right in the face there. It is these beautiful deep blue, in some cases almost purple, depending on the soil conditions it's in, that really, really sets off this plant. It goes to about 12 inches high, so it can be a literally a ground cover. I don't suggest it being something that you traipse across a lot. It'll tend to break down a little bit and won't perform as well as you probably want. But if you have it on uh, mounds and berms, hillsides, especially the lower end of the hillsides, it will require a little bit of water. It's not like a California lilac or a rock rose. It wants a little bit of water and responds best to uh, probably at least once a week water. So consider that when you're mixing and you're becoming compatible with the type of plants that you're using. Yep, Grace Ward Lithodora, hardy down into the single digits and then it can go all the way up to zone nine, even a drier 10. So that's, a, that's quite a range, that's quite a wide range. I like it, I've used it in a lot of rock gardens and the boulder work that I used to do. But check it out, see if you can find it at your garden center, your mom and pop nursery, Grace Ward Lithodora, one of my favorite plants of the week. So, thanks for tuning in. Guys, I will catch you next week. Don't forget to check out the channel and the podcast. See you, take care.